Hi. Live API Creator makes creating API-based backends remarkably faster and simpler. It also supports a variety of approaches shown here. In this video, we'll explore these so you can choose an approach that best suits your requirements. You can create APIs from an existing database. This is the most common case and provides remarkable automation. You simply connect and the system creates a default API and UI. Your API includes endpoints for every table, view, and stored procedure. The API is enterprise class with filtering, sorting, optimistic locking, and pagination, fully documented in Swagger. In addition to the default API, the system creates a default UI so you can browse and update your data instantly. You can use author mode for common customizations, such as look and feel, when to hide and show data, and so forth. You can customize the shape of the default API. It's just point and click. You can define nested resources, filters, and choose alias columns. You can even join multiple databases. You declare the behavior of the API with reactive logic. These rules govern all of these transactions and are remarkably 40 times more concise than procedural code. Extend them with JavaScript, including calls to loadable libraries. Or create your API from your app. This CA innovation is ideal when you don't already have a database and want to create an API based on collaboration with business users. You just use your app to create fields and the system creates the database, the tables, the columns, and the relationships, and the default API. As you can see, there's no database knowledge required. Instead of technology, you operate on business metaphors like master detail and lookup. This empowers business users to create systems that provide enterprise class performance, extensibility, and connectivity. You can also create APIs starting from a model. This is an API first approach where you can import a schema definition file. You can create this by hand or convert from a Swagger API definition. Here's a simple schema for products and locations. We import it like this. The system then creates your database, tables, columns, and relationships, a default UI, and a default API automatically. You can create test data with the Data Explorer or use the REST lab to load JSON data. As described earlier, you can then customize the shape of the API and add reactive logic. Finally, you can start from code. You simply create a new API, name your function, and enter your JavaScript code. No compile, no deploy. The system provides code creation for system services. So, for example, you might create an API to process a webhook and invoke existing APIs. There's even a debugger to keep development moving quickly. Of course, you can create functions for database-oriented APIs. For example, here we give arrays based on named parameters. This will automatically execute any relevant business logic and persist the change. This means your API is not limited to put, post, and delete, but can, but can be customized per your application requirements. So, to summarize, you can start with data, start with an idea for an application, start with a Swagger document or, or data model, or just start coding. Live API Creator supports them all and even supports multiple methodologies in parallel. You get immediate feedback allowing business users to work with IT and iterate quickly. Thank you. For more detailed information about CA Live API Creator, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the products page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit the CA communities, or see the learning path.